Hello guys and welcome to Understanding the Difference Between Posts and Pages by WA Courses. In this video, we're going to be looking at the differences between posts and pages, which are the two basic um, content post types on uh, WordPress. So we're going to be looking at the differences between both of them and when to use posts and when to use pages. So once you log into your back end um, of your WordPress website, you're going to get these two post types. We have posts, um, these two content types, we have posts and we have pages. Okay. So the major difference between posts and pages is in their use case. So basically they are structured in similar ways, but um, in terms of use case, you use posts for something different as compared to pages. Okay. So. You mainly use pages for creating any form of content that is going to be static. Okay. So if you have any form of content that will not be changing and, uh, doesn't really need, um, user generated content, comments and all that, you use pages. Okay. So things like about us, contact us, um, payments, uh, pages and any form of page that has a static attribute, you use, uh, pages to create that. Okay. Whereas you use posts to create things like publications, blog posts, and articles. Okay. So if you have an article that you would like to publish on your website, you use, uh, the post content type. Okay. So that's the, um, the basic difference between posts and pages. So I'm just going to show you some other differences, um, in terms of how they are displayed. So I have this created. I'm just going to view this post and we'll go over to pages and I'm going to open a page here. I'm going to open the sample page so we can see the difference between how they are displayed. So if you go over to your post, um, this is an example of a post. You have the post title up here. Then over here, you have the content. So whatever content is in the post goes here. Then below that, you get things like, uh, published date. Then you get, um, by admin. So in this case, this is our author. The author is admin and you also get category over here. Okay. Then you also get this section where you can leave a comment. So if you're trying to get um, user feedback, you use posts for that. Okay. So post allows you to add this, leave a comment box here where people can leave a comment about whatever they've read here. That's why it's suited for articles and publications. Whereas with something like uh, pages, you get almost the same kind of layout. You have the title and you have the content. But if you scroll down, there's no nothing else. There's no published date, there's no author, there's no user generated content and all that. Okay. So that's the, the major difference. You use pages to, um, add in static, uh, information on your website about us and all that. And you use, um, uh, posts, uh, to create any form of, uh, publication that would require, um, comments and all that. So if we go back to the dashboard, if you come over to posts, you, you notice we have two extra um, tabs here, we have categories and tags. So this just helps us, um, organize our, uh, posts, um, each post we create. So we can organize posts by categories and organize posts by tags because of the nature of pages. You don't really need any form of taxonomy for pages. Okay. So that's just the basic, um, difference between posts and pages. There are other forms of content types depends on the, um, theme you're adding. So, but by different, by default, you're going to be using posts and pages a lot. Okay. So I hope you understand, um, the difference between these two and know when to use each of them. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.